All right, Telenartho, we are making you your guild hall so you can te start t teaching your great crafts to um, everybody in the fortress, apparently. Um, we are being assaulted by um, elves. It's a good thing I didn't just send out another squad. Uh, everybody get inside. I'm going to jump down to here and pull this lever. So we are getting ambushed. Um, never mind. A vile force of adorable is attacking. Um, so we are getting attacked by giant hamsters. <laughs> giant wolverines. <laughs> giant, uh, just normal normal giraffes. And elephants. I have a feeling a moment from now the game is about to inform us that uh, there is another ambush. As they slowly walk towards the fort. Man, I really want to just fight this right now, but... I'm going to do my damnedest to use the water entrance. The Moses device has been activated, I think. Oh, never mind. No, it hasn't. Now, are you active? There you go. All right. So something that I need to try and do during this siege is I need to try and save this giant kiwi. But we're going to pull this lever. Now that the Moses device is running. Jesus. Oh. Well, this is bad news. Specifically for Labash. Uh, Labash is, you know, on a wander. And here come the dwarfs. You know, the beauty of this is if I make them station, like a little bit off to the side, I wonder if they'll get swimming skill. <laughs> it's totally safe, I swear. You'll even get happy thoughts about being near a waterfall, right? Right, 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 right? And maybe a shower or five? Hey? Oh. No? Come on. You're standing in mist. That's mist. There you go, see? Happy thoughts. For whatever it's worth, this is the most dwarves I've ever had in a fort. Okay. And this frame rate's actually like surprisingly fine. Um, except for when I turn on this thing. <laughs> I wasn't expecting them to just practice swimming, but okay, fine. Is that dwarf still alive? Have they spared him? Hang in there, dwarfus. This does look kind of awesome though. Yeah, like everything about this is so freaking cool. I can't wait to witness my dwarves charge. This, this is either going to go very, very well or extraordinarily poorly. Whose pet cat is this? Oh, there there you are, the bash. Um, well, good luck. We are discovering more things. Oh, the dwarves are running forward. Uh, there is a cat in this cage. Um, and there is an elf right here, an elven swordsman. Um, I'm actually going to move my squads up. Now, I'm not sure if I tell them to go here, if they will swim through this, or if they will take the smart way. It is like prioritized and everything, right? For what should be relatively obvious reasons. So the dwarves are moving up. Uh, bits of cheetah are flying everywhere. Cog here is putting in some work, as in fact, hacking at an elf swordsman in the right upper leg with a steel battle axe, and the severed part sails off in an arc, naturally. Uh, the axe dwarf then hacks uh, the elf swordsman uh, in the head with a steel battle axe, and the severed part sails off in an arc. Well, well done! And he says, I've improved my axe! That was satisfying! And then the elf, the axe dwarf uh, hacks a war cheetah in the body, uh, tearing apart the muscle, and um, then hits it in uh, the front paw. So, uh, then it flies off in an arc, and he says, Has the tide turned? I am not scared! <clears throat> We've parted the whatever the name of this lake is. Uh, there is... I like how it's just like Av's head at the bottom. The creature's head. Um, a, a cheetah has fallen, and a elf has fallen. It's not a notable kill, though. Dwarves are lining up in the line of sight of the enemy, who... Um, who seem to be quite upset about the fact that they are having to, you know, swim quite quite a bit, quite a distance. The dwarves are charging, as they damn well should be. The cheetahs are falling pretty quickly. It appears that Cog up here is doing a lot of work, dodging a lot of flying uh, arrows, is hacking at a jaguar in the lower body with a steel battle axe, and, uh, hack, and um, sorry, hacks the war jaguar in the front let paw with his steel battle axe and it sails off in an arc hacks it again uh in the left rear paw and it sails off in an arc just to paw them you know he's 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 uh pawning off the enemy um now over here this dwarf is saying this is a fight i am not scared in the midst of conflict i am not scared and then this dwarf says i don't know how to swim and this dwarf says why is there water everywhere in the midst of conflict i see a lake and more ambushes yet more ambushes this is either going to go horribly wrong or be the best fight I've ever witnessed. Um, so there's a mace dwarf here. Now, 
I'm just going to confirm something. They are, in fact, holding a mace. It's just invisible for one reason or another. Uh, the mace dwarf uh, bashes the... Also, how you doing, Alfie Bean? Bashes the uh, bowman in the head with a bismuth bronze mace, bruising the muscle and bruising the skull through the date palm wood helm. Naturally, because a date palm wood helm would give almost no um, form of, uh, you know protection. The militia commander stabs the elf in the right upper leg, uh, fracturing the bone through their pants and twisting the hip. Did you get the kill, though? I don't think you did. No, you didn't. Did you, though? It must have been Dodok who got the kill. Oh, killed an elf. Fantastic. You're legendary at something. You're a master fighter. Well, good luck with that. Um, you're here to just wreck house and take names and chew bubblegum, but dwarves don't know what a bubblegum is, so. Uh, they're going to then move forward. An, uh, an ear went flying um, off of whoever that was. And, uh, there's also there there's elves popping out of the edge of the water, and uh, the dwarves simply run forward and are dueling with them as they move out. Uh, we've got a very brave Dodok who is stunned and bleeding and now drowning as well. Um, now the beauty of this system, right? Because the water is constantly being sucked up. If you fall into this wall, you get ripped back into the center, right? So the dwarves that end up in the water are actually getting pulled back here. Meaning, in theory, they're getting happy thoughts due to waterfall, and probably also safer than they would be if they weren't in a situation like this. I could be completely wrong. Um, and more ambushes. More ambushes. There's, there is a lot of them. Um, arrows are starting to fly. The, the dwarves are... Um, probably fighting up through the, the, the goblin or the elven conflict. So remember how earlier a bunch of goblins attacked? Where are they? <laughs> Not actually that close. Okay, so they're probably just going to go eat themselves into the water over here and try and fight from the side as well, which would be very, very stupid of them. But I, again, I, I respect it. Okay, so the dwarves are continuing to move directly forward through the absolute mess of carnage. I'm impressed. That, that, that's, 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 yes, okay. I am impressed that they are sticking to the middle. <laughs> that's what I'm the most impressed by here. Okay, Dorak, who got injured earlier, is now in a much better way. Uh, most recently, stabbing an elf bowman in the right foot, and the injured part was cloven asunder. And there's more, for, there's more friends of nature that we must curse, so curse all friends of nature. The siege icon is still up there, so the goblins are still in somewhere, which means we're probably going to see them jumping in here. Yep. Any second now, they're going to pop in behind us. This one's even firing bolts. How? Through the water? Oh my god, they are. That's kind of amazing, actually. I'm curious if they're actually hitting their targets. We've got uh, Edom here in a martial trance, who is stabbing the giant hamster, naturally, in the uh, rear leg, which is tearing the muscle, and then stabbing it in the right rear paw as well. After dodging out of the way of many... Many a bolt. I'm actually curious. Do we have any injured? And really, if you want to see injured, you check at the back. But I'm not seeing any injured. That is a good sign so far. Now, is that dwarf still alive? <laughs> Would be you, right? Yes, you are. Well, then. Tired and thirsty. It's terrified while in conflict. Uh, last thing it hit actually was the, was the war treat cheetah where it spilled its guts and then you ran away. Imagining just like getting charged by a cheetah, cutting its intestines open, dodging around a goblin siege who are, you know, currently drowning. <laughs> <laughs> like, how do you retreat out of this? Like, once you're in this mess, you're kind of just in this mess. Okay, so I do actually have a squad stationed back here, which is kind of fun. That's actually smart. I did that accidentally, but that's probably for the best. Dwarves are pushing up through the front. We've got two goblins coming down now. One dwarf trying to head back. Bill Snow, thank you very much for the prime sub. Okay, so we've got an elephant up here who's experiencing mortal fear. I don't blame him. I would be too. Katan, the soldier who's diving into the water. How's your swimming skill tier doing, dwarf? Dabbling. Well, you thought about swimming once, maybe. Um, pushing forward bits and pieces. So basically, yeah, as they come out of here, they're already tired because they've been swimming, likely, or like drowning. Like, this thing is drowning, but, okay, who did you gore? Did I lose a dwarf? One of my wrestlers got gored. Okay, so you're stunned and nauseous. You, you probably got gored. Hang in there, Moses. You're in pretty deep water right now. And also stunned. Well, at the very least, you're satisfied upon improving dodging and content near a waterfall. You also just dropped your spear, which is probably pretty bad. Re-picking up weapons in a situation like this. Gonna be tough, I think. Still nauseous. How about you? Tired. Injured. Oop, we're starting to get injuries. 
Possibly. Whoa! We actually have a dwarf who got all the way through. Uh, Saigon here is in a martial trance and managed to make it all the way through. Cog here isn't drowning, surprisingly, but also has made it all the way to the other side. Uh, is just a dabbling swinner, swimmer, so like I say, it's surprising he's not drowning. Um, that's kind of awesome. So let's see what Saigon can do up here. Is uh, fighting her way through uh, this this elf by repeatedly smacking it in the head with a hammer, probably. Yep, pretty much. It's just, just a lot of smacking going on. Uh, then we got Cog over here, who has also just climbed out of the water. Um, down here, I st we still don't appear to have anyone dead just yet. Statue Sounds is also in a martial trance in the middle of this absolute clusterfuck. Um, and uh, so now we've got surrounded elven warriors up top here. Uh, we've got this axe dwarf and hammer dwarf charging directly towards the giant tusked beast with big ears and a weird noodle nose, um, which is running away in fear, as I would be too if I was a weird tusked beast with uh, big ears and noodle nose. Anyway, it's now dead. we got several other dwarves climbing out. Um, let's actually check the underground area. Uh, I don't see any more. So the dwarves are actually smart enough to take the correct exit. Rovod here is still seriously injured. Um, we've got Zwerry here who's seriously injured. Let's we'll follow Zwerry a little bit, who is currently fighting with an elephant and I think just took it out, actually. Uh, no, they didn't take it out, but somebody did. Uh, is stabbing the elephant in, in the right foot. Um, we've got quite a few dwarves up on the surface now. Saigon, uh, the Hammer Lord, as well as Logan, as well as Cog, uh, who are all chasing this, uh, long-necked creature, uh, and is now, uh, stabbing the speedy kitty, and then running over to this elf who says, um, probably somewhere, something along the lines of, ah, ah, I've improved my bow. That was satisfying. Then gets bonked with a lot of shit, or dodges a lot of shit, and, uh, that, um, and, uh, then probably says something else at some point before they die. Uh, I was attacked, <laughs> is what he says. Naturally, as your, um, arm goes flying. Um, now we've got a very brave dwarf who's going to the petting zoo, smacking this massive elephanty, uh, and then the cheetah, and then the other cheetah. Okay, so they're winning up there. That's good. So it's a matter of figuring out where the elephants are going to try and go. The dwarves can't really path forward, but they are still fighting with things. I'm not actually sure what. Okay, they're fighting with an elf bowman right now. And then they run down to the next elf and they take him out. They rip him to shreds. Uh, and then we wait for the next one. And it just, it just, it repeats. This is such a cool system. I love this. I've never built anything like this before, by the way. Not for this use case, anyway. So the backups are now running through. The, go the goblin siege has broken. We have tons of very pissed off dwarves now, naturally. Hacking apart an elephant who decided to just throw himself in the water. Although there are still dwarfs down here who could probably do a decent amount of damage to them, even with only a shield. I mean, what was your last thing that you did? Uh, the last thing that happened to you is you got kicked by an elephant. Well, <laughs> I have no idea. Anyway, a vile force of darkness has arrived and is seeking a parlay. Please don't give us a minute to like regroup and think about it for a second, because uh, apparently we get to do this again. <laughs> Where's this elephant? Although they also get to fight an elephant in a moment, so there go the dwarves running to the edge of the water, probably about to jump in. One did, I think. Something fell in. Uh, I think it was actually this goblin's arm flying off. Or something important flying off, at the very least. The goblin there, Nodokasa, leading the charge. Fully fresh, because that first fight she, or he didn't even take part. He's hacking the goblin bowman in the upper arm with the battle axe, and the, and the bits fly everywhere. The dwarves then charge directly forwards towards the enemy onslaught. We do have one dwarf that I think that just withstands some injuries, but they should be okay. Goblin flies to pieces immediately upon... Uh, being challenged. The siege out in the open is quite gruesome and glorious. However, Stormwolf and Burr have both been found dead. Uh, so we have lost some dwarves pretty damn quickly here, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, the dwarves are moving forwards through the goblin encampment and push them back. Oh, another vile force of darkness. Um, I pulled this lever and now we wait. Can I get some lava in the chat chat room? There you go. Now, the only problem is it's probably going to set my Moses machine on fire, but... I mean... It's a fight I didn't need to fight, so... Hey, uh, we'll accept that petition! No? Okay. Anyways. 
Uh, it's a problem. I mean, I did that underneath them while they were standing there, so. Some, hey, chat, um, 